And in the waiting room, we have found Justin from iTunes. There you go. How are you feeling, Justin? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm ready to go. Right. I'm just ready to get in there and do my thing. And what are you pitching to the Giants today? Uh, iTrack Property, um, which is uh, started off as a communication tool for real estate agents um, and since then morphed into a number of things um, and for public it's uh, pretty much like Instagram or Tinder for property. You choose what you want and we, we deliver it to, to the public based on their criteria. Hopefully you get the giants excited. No, 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 no. I think interested no, be in good. Good. We wish Excellent. you the best. Yeah, thank you buddy. You go get in there. Thanks. Okay. Okay, good afternoon. I'm Justin from iTrack Property. I'm here to talk about what we've done, what we've developed. We've got a 10 year uh, partnership integration with the Real Estate, in Real Estate Institute of WA. iTrack started as a production tool and an intelligence tool for real estate agents. From there, we built in off market, I'm an off market platform. We created the ability for agents to connect to everybody that looked at their property, not just the 10% that usually inquires um, via a standard website. Um, and then most importantly, recently, uh, we introduced the seller lead functionality, which we've had a patent granted on here in WA. So lots of new things. Um, for the public, that's what it is for the, um, for the agents. For the public, it's like, Instagram or Tinder uh, for property, right? You, as a, as, a, as a user, you decide what information you want, what suburbs, what sort of property, whether you want campaign updates, and then we deliver it to you in a feed in real time as those things come to the market or as there's campaign updates. You can also research, um, you can research the market, you can research the agents, and you can communicate with the agents, but it's all within the app. So you maintain your privacy as a user, which a lot of people want to do, until you're comfortable to hand over your contact details. Um, and everything's recorded, so when an agent says they've got an offer, they really have an offer, because if they don't, um, we've got it there in writing. So for the public, it's private, it's transparent, it's truthful, and we just deliver on the minute, on the hour, whatever information they want to receive. Uh, that's, what, that's what I am. Um, the, the formula to make this a success is to get agents and the public onto the app um, in, in large numbers. So recently with the seller introduction functionality, we feel we've nailed that. Um, so now real estate agents have become our salespeople. And the why behind that is, is because when a real estate agent gets a person or the public to download the app, iTrack filters those people as a potential seller and then we send that seller lead to the real estate agent as an exclusive lead. And then it's like, well, why will the public continue to use the app? The public will use the app if it delivers new listings, especially in a tight market, um, before other platforms, before realestate.com or domain. And how do they get the new listings before realestate.com and domain? As a real estate agent, I'm going to do this any day of the week. For me to be eligible, well, I can't be, but for a real estate agent to be eligible for a seller lead, which provides them their revenue, they have to download their, their listings onto iTrack before the major website. Oh, and what are you looking for? Uh, 500000 for 10%. The valuation of $5 million has, is a conservative, we think it's conservative, we haven't based any of the value on how good we think it is on the integration and the advertising we've got with RE, where it's based on my personal investment um, and the investment that RE was put into the platform in all of their tech, in all of the hours. So $5 million, we're valued at it today, we're looking for 10%. We're pretty much nailed it here in WA, where $10 billion worth of property has sold on our platform. That's not WA sales, that's 70% that's at the moment of all WA listings are, are being tracked or activated by real estate agents in WA. Um, we have 12, over 1,200 real estate agents on the app, and to be honest with you, those 12, 1,200 real estate agents probably sell 70 to 80% of, of the property that's selling. So there's around 3,000, maybe 3,500 agents. Half of them don't 
don't even cover five or ten percent. Where income? So we've got a few we've got a few layers of income which we'll introduce shortly. We we didn't want to introduce the subscriptions until we had na nailed the seller lead um, functionality. So we'll have a subscription model, um, two hundred dollars per agent per month. If we nailed only 50% of the agents in WA, if we only nailed 50% of them at $200 a, a month, it's roughly a million dollars worth of revenue. Once we've got significant traction, significant buyers, and we've already got 20,000 people downloaded the app, but once we have 50, 100, 150, we'll start charging download fees. The most important thing um, I feel is, is the advertising revenue for agents to be able to promote themselves will generate a lot of income, but the app works like like Facebook or Instagram. We can, we can serve up ads to an individual based on how they use the app, what they're looking at, what suburb they live. You can't download the app until you know what suburb you live in. So if you're a, an investor looking to, because we, we also know that, we, they have to tick off what they're after and who they are. So the app can deliver purposeful ads specifically to the user Unlike traditional websites where it's just one ad that's got to suit all because they're static. So the revenue down the track once we've got a lot of users and once we have the intelligence behind the people that are using, that's significant beyond the industry. And where did the 20,000 users come from today? So where oh, have you been advertising? So I haven't heard yeah, of it. So it sounds no, interesting, I'm, but I haven't no, heard so of we're it. Just, we're clicking into gear now. Yeah. So, um, so we do some some relatively. I guess. Oh, we don't pay. oh, we've run out of time. I had one more question. Are we allowed one more? Yeah. yeah. So I guess you know on realestate.com you do a search, you put in suburb price, yeah. etc. Yep. And so if you're watching the market, then you're going to have to do that every day to keep checking. Whereas yeah. with your platform, you put that in you basically in, once, you can update and then you just click yeah. on the app and you've got what's new. Yeah, yeah, and you can update it whenever you want to update it, but you fill out your criteria, what you like, what you're interested in, and we just serve it to you. And we're serving you the new listings before REA because the agents to get their seller leads have to put their listings on our platform before then. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it, it's pretty much the no-brainer app that people will use as it's pinging first with the new listing. Mm. Oh, you know how to say that. <laughs> <laughs>